All right, we just had a chance to hear from Steelers defensive coordinator Terrell Austin to talk about the Steelers' third-round pick, pick number 84 overall, DeMarvin Leal out of Texas A&M, a defensive lineman. Missy Matthews with Matt Williamson once again, and there you kind of look at his stats, what he was able to accomplish in college. Uh, what do you know about him, and how does he fit in terms of what the Steelers need of infusing some youth among that defensive line? Yeah, really interesting, and in a way he has some George Pickens similarities, and and a, a phrase that Coach Tomlin likes to say, he's a high pedigree player. Mm -hmm. Went to a big school as a massive recruit, immediate success, immediate production, and the last year or so hasn't gone quite as planned, you know, for whatever reason. Um, as people probably could put together, Dan Moore blocked him in practice for a couple yep. of years, and Buddy Johnson played behind him, so they went to the school last year for two players. If you don't like him, you say he's a tweener and he's a defensive lineman without a home. If you like him, which Steelers do, mm -hmm. you say he's versatile, and they use that word several times. He is lined up on the edge out of a two-point stance all the way into nose. And it, when the Steelers are in their 3-4, I'm sure he'll be a 3-4 defensive end. But the, the term base defense is a massive misnomer. That's not the base. That's the exception now. Mm -hmm. Nichols the, is the base and he will be an interior pass rusher in nickel, and that's what he does best. So they'll find mismatches with him all across the line and develop them. He's got a lot of traits. And speaking of developing, T.A. mentioned, you know, Isaiah Loudermilk, someone they drafted mm -hmm. in last year's class uh, that they developed, who we saw play an awful lot due to the right. injuries among the defensive line. The one thing that T.A. did say is, you know, with him moving more to the middle, adding some weight to his frame, uh, how much do you think that would take to maybe get him to where the Steelers would need him? Him and Loudermilk are very different. They'll both be called defensive ends here, I think. But Loudermilk's three inches taller, longer arms, mm -hmm. more of a lockout guy where Neil's going to win with initial quickness, leverage. Uh, I called him Leal. It's Leal. I've made Leal. that mistake a couple okay. times in the process. So <laughs> just so everyone knows, it's, it's Leal. Um, but he, he can get low. He, he's quicker off the snap. Um, he's impressive. I, I didn't know if he would fit here or not, but the fact that they like him this much in the third round indicates to me that on third downs, he'll probably be out on the field next to Cam or Tewitt or a guy like that rushing from the interior. Well, it sounds like they like him a lot because yeah. what T.A. said was, quote, a very nice grade on him. And he said that with a smile, not mm -hmm. to say too much. So obviously someone the Steelers have been looking after. Uh, so thanks so much for that, Matt. You know, Art Rooney the second, as we said on SNR, talked about wide receiver, D-line. Cornerback would be the next one. Tomorrow is day three. Currently the Steelers have picks in the fourth round, one in the sixth, two in the seventh Uh have to address that, right? I think so. And we talked about it even when Pickens was drafted, mm -hmm. that I really like the third round range for developmental corners. And there's still a lot out there. So the fourth might work out real well for the group of corners that are still at the top of the board. There's still about 10 names there I like. I would look at a slot receiver too. I mean, a little jitterbug return man type of guy I think would fit in here. Maybe a, a backup running back. I mean, there's a couple directions they could go. Developmental tackle is never a bad idea. All right, lots to pick from. Uh, still another full day of the draft coming your way. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight. For Matt Williamson, I'm Missy Matthews. That's the very latest from the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex.